So I saw online that somebody made this VR chat model of me, which of course I really, really liked and thought was super cool. Um, and so I really wanted to be able to use this on my own and go around in VR chat with this model, but I wasn't able to get it working on my own. I tried and tried, but I'm really inexperienced with Unity. So I reached out to the artist who actually made it and I asked her, you know, do you think you would be able to meet up with me in game? And that way you would be able to share this with me like in person. And of course she was very excited and said yes. So we kind of scheduled a time to meet up in game and she shared the avatar with me very generously. And I, you know, I said, thank you. I told her I thought it was great. But while we were in there, she sort of started telling me about how she makes VR related YouTube videos and how that's what she really loves. And I don't know, I was just moved by what she had to say. I thought it was very, very cool. And also to me, there's something unique and weirdly beautiful about how, although we can't go outside right now because everybody is in quarantine and people are being advised to stay in their homes, in this experience, I was able to meet up with somebody in virtual reality and connect with them when that's very, very difficult to do in real life. So anyways, that's enough context. Here's the clip. But it's like my passion, you know, like this is the stuff I'm the most excited about in the whole world <laughs> is everything with VR. Yeah. <laughs> and so I'm trying my best to follow that. <laughs> thank you. That makes me so, <laughs> that's so crazy <laughs> that you said that to me. So thank you. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I've noticed so far is I can't, I will, I went through this whole like personal growth within the last year where I started um, like reevaluating my life and being like, I want to build my own dream life. Like the things that I want, I need to go for that. And so I started like, following my gut and following like my intuition and being like if something feels right and brings me that joy and passion then I'm gonna do it and like so far like so many great things have come from that and this is like kind of like nerdy and kind of dorky that I'm gonna say this but like um the first thing that kind of like led to that for me is last year at this time when you announced Second Sky I was like kind of on the fence about going because like money and stuff and I was like oh I don't know how mm -hmm. it's gonna work out but then I did and I just like, I bought the tickets and I was like, this feels right. This feels like a good thing to do. And so I did it. And now like some of my best friends I've ever made were from Second Sky. And I like tell everybody that Aww. Second Sky was like the best day of my life. And, and I so have good. made all of these connections and things. And I don't even think I'd be like in VR right now if it weren't <gasps> for like how everything lined Aww. up because of the stuff that happened from Second Sky. And so it's like- That is so cool. <laughs> Exactly, and it just goes to show how it's like if you do the things that you care about and obviously like I love your music and so I followed that and I was like this feels right and then all of these other great things have happened since and now here we are. Here's me telling you about it. <laughs> <That's> so <cool>. <laughs> <laughs> this is such a cool moment. Oh, that makes me so happy. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> High five in Porter and VR. <laughs>